In this video, I will be talking about the history of the famous Buck 110 Folding Hunter. Most of this information has been derived directly from an article on Buck's official website. I will provide the link in the article in the video description below. To start off, we will first talk about how the Buck 110 was conceived. Early on, Buck gained the reputation of building excellent fixed blade knives. In the early 1960s, Buck realized they wanted to expand their product lineup and produce a folding knife. On April 18, 1963, the Buck Knife Board voted to construct a folding lockback knife. After the 110 project was approved, Al Buck admitted he had purchased three other rival company folding knives to study. Al and his team took away aspects they liked about the knives and started to build their own prototype. Guy Hooser was the engineer that spearheaded the Buck 110 project. Nearly four months after the board approved the project, Hooser submitted the first prototype of the 110 to the company board on August 8, 1963. The board approved Hooser design but requested some modifications. They requested Hoover to reconstruct the handle and to add a brass liner. The board gave Hoover 90 days to incorporate the modifications. The 110 finally started being produced in September of 1963. The first Buck 110s featured a 440C blade steel, ebony wood inlays, and brass frames. Initially, Buck executives expressed concerns about the 110. They admitted they didn't believe the first knife was up to their standards, referring to quality and reliability. They were also concerned about the steep price of the 110. The knife was initially listed for $16, which is equivalent to $153 in 2023 when inflation is taken into account. But it should be noted, most knife users back then only purchased one knife and used it for years until it was lost or completely unusable. Most saw knives as a tool, and knife collecting had not been popular yet. All these first reservations were quickly quelled. The 110 became the number one selling sports knife within two years of production. By 1991, Buck had sold over 11 million 110s. Today, Buck produces about 400,000 110s a year. The Buck 110 is still considered an American icon in the knife community. It has been featured in many Hollywood films and it's considered to be one of the most copied knife designs on the market. The 110 can still be purchased today on Buck's website, any authorized seller, or on the secondary market. Thank you for watching.